everyone, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog. So if you see me crack open one of these bad boys, you know what time it is. It is deep cleaning my apartment time. So my whole family's gonna be coming over later today so that we can celebrate my mom's birthday. And I don't know about you guys, but when my mom comes over, I try to make sure things are a little bit cleaner than they usually are. <laughs> Just so she thinks that I have my life together and my apartment's clean all the time. It's not. But yeah, so we have some cleaning to do around the apartment today. Yeah, also we are continuing the moving into my dream New York City apartment series. A bunch of my decorations that I ordered delivered today. So we're gonna be adding more personality, more pizzazz to my apartment because right now she still looks very plain Jane. It's giving Airbnb, no one lives here. So yeah, it's gonna be a very productive deep cleaning session. I got my energy from my OxyTread. Let's get to cleaning. So the real ones know any deep cleaning session of mine, we gotta set the vibes first, you know? This is kind of how I make cleaning actually fun <laughs> and something to look forward to. We're gonna play some of my jams on my TV. Watch this magic, you guys. Ooh, it's magic. Pika, are you gonna help clean too? So honest, I haven't mopped the floors in like forever, so it makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, if you're watching this right now, here's your sign. Clean your floors. <laughs> So I'm about to clean my couch and I get a lot of questions how I upkeep my very white couch and listen with the long-haired cat and my own long black hair It gets dirty. Okay, but I have the answer to all those problems and it is these three products right here These are all from Amazon I'm gonna have them linked to my storefront for you guys But these are a lifesaver when you have a white couch like me Maybe you have a fur baby like me or even actual children and you want to keep your couch clean So first things first, this is a chom chom. This gets rid of like any pet hair any dusties that's on your couch I just swipe this through on my couch Couch and it gets rid of all the nasty and then also if you have a cat like me who likes to scratch up your beautiful couch <laughs> I also have this thing. It's called a fabric cutter and basically it just shaves off the fabric that Pika has been scratching off my couch <laughs> And then this baby right here is a lifesaver. I don't know what I would do without this thing Okay stain and odor remover y'all I've gotten juice stains out of this couch spaghetti stains pen marks Everything has gotten out with this beautiful magical spray right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my couch I'm about to show you guys all the nasties this little chom chom picked up. Look at all that nasty cat hair in my hair. I'm telling you guys, this thing picks up everything. We are about to put up my new prints. Finally, I feel like this wall has been so blank and so plain Jane for the longest time. So we're gonna add some color to it. So yeah, we're gonna put it up and I also have some extra help today.
So it's the weekend and your girl is all packed. I'm actually gonna be staying over my boyfriend's place tonight. You already know I had to pack all my essentials. By the way, this bag is literally my go-to whenever I spend the night at his place or if I'm going to an overnight trip. It's called the 24 Overnighter from Logel. It's actually from the Nero line, which has the perfect luggages. If you're a spontaneous traveler like me, I love that it allows you to just travel freely without like super clunky luggage. It's super lightweight and I love the minimalist design. It also comes in a few other beautiful colors, but honestly the best part of this bag is the fact that it folds flat. So it's so easy to travel with and it's so convenient to pack in a bigger luggage. It also has a two-way comfort handle, super handy removable packing pouch. I also want to show the luggage that I got from there because it's so cute. Look how cute this is! This is actually called the Cubo Fit Suitcase. I have a really exciting big trip planned in the next few months, so this suitcase is literally perfect. It has a really slim design, which helps take up less room when you're opening it, but also offers more storage than a medium suitcase. It has a flat top opening, it also has a compression divider. But yeah, if you guys are interested in checking any of these bags out, you can shop at Logel for your everyday travel needs. I'm gonna have a link in the description. And thank you so much to Logel for sponsoring this video. So tonight my girl Abigail is actually coming over to cook dinner with me. She's actually one of my few friends from NYU and she hasn't seen my apartment yet. So I'm excited to have her over. You know, your girl's trying to be in her hosting era and invite people over more often. <laughs> the real ones know in my last studio, it was a 400 square foot apartment. <laughs> so I honestly really didn't have people over often at all. So yeah, that's changing this year. She should be here soon, but really quickly, I have to get some ingredients to cook tonight. So I'm gonna do a quick grocery run. I'm thinking of making steak bites and mashed potatoes. So yeah, let's go. to a Pilates class. I'm actually gonna be doing it with my boyfriend and it's his first time ever doing it. So I'm really excited, honestly, to see his reaction. He has no idea what he's in for. I'm gonna take a little hot girl walk there. You know, get some extra cardio in. <laughs> So it's gonna be your first time trying solid core. Are you ready? First time, let's get it. We in here, solid core. <laughs> Pilates experience. It was very difficult. I underestimated the huh. difficulty. I was cheating. That's the only way I survived. <laughs> it was hard for sure. I could already tell my abs are gonna be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> So a little post-workout meal we're eating. We're at Honey Brain. This is one of my favorite quick lunch places in the city. It tastes so good. I got a chicken sandwich. This is a well-deserved meal. Watching the new Doom movie, I'm so excited!
guys, we got a little vibe going on. Got my candles on. A little bit of ambient lighting. And my sleepy girl mocktail. And I figured to end this vlog, we're gonna end it with a bang. We're gonna end it with a little Q&A. Because I honestly love talking to you guys and just catching up with you guys. Feels like a FaceTime call with my besties. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. So if you're not already following me on there. What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Matter of fact, go check if you're subscribed right now. Because if you're not subscribed already. <laughs> what are you doing? Go subscribe right now. Okay, so first question is from my girl, Richa. Y'all, she has been watching me and commenting on literally every single video of mine for years now. And I actually got to meet her in person too at one of my meetups, so I never forgot her. Love you, shout out to you. So she asked, what has been the best and worst part about living in New York City? The best part, being in the energy and hustle of New York. There's never a boring day in New York. There's always something to do. It's honestly like no other city and it's my favorite city for a reason. Worst part, the prices, okay? Girl, the prices here are not cute. Have you or your boyfriend considered living together? Great question. <laughs> I actually got this question a lot. A lot of you guys are wondering why I don't live with my boyfriend. And it's honestly because I'm trying to be in my independent era. <laughs> I know it's kind of a thing for YouTubers to like live with their boyfriends and I've seen a lot of people do it. That is great for them. But honestly, for me, I got the rest of my life to live with that man, okay? I'm not rushing it. I have spent so much time just working on myself and learning how to be independent. Cause you know, a few years ago, I was very codependent. I used to hate being alone, but now I've grown so much. I actually enjoy spending time by myself now. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of that growth has come from me living on my own and just doing things on my own. For now, I enjoy living on my own and I know he enjoys his independence too. How did you get over your gym anxiety in the beginning? Listen, I'm gonna be honest. When I first started working out, my gym anxiety was through the roof. I used to spend like 30 minutes before walking inside the gym just to muster up the courage to walk in because I felt so anxious. And it was like intrusive thoughts. I'd be like, oh, everybody's staring at me. They think I'm ugly. They could tell I don't know what I'm doing. Like all these negative thoughts would just rush into my head and it made me so anxious. And what I would do is I would literally pull up to the gym with a hat and a baggy hoodie. And for some reason, the hat and the hoodie combo just made me feel so much more comfortable with myself. And something about it just helps me focus on myself more rather than other people and thinking if people are staring at me. I would say long-term solution you know it does help when you avoid the gym at the peak hours 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. that's when everyone and their mom is rushing to the gym but also it just takes time I know firsthand how anxious it feels to walk inside a gym especially if you're new to it but you just have to keep on showing up for yourself regardless of how you feel and it does help to kind of hype yourself up I play my favorite music I wear a cute gym outfit and I just get myself hyped and get in a good mood to go to the gym so that way when I walk in I just feel overall more confident where's the dream location you've been wanting to visit I have so many but honestly my top location right now is Brazil. If you're watching this and you're from Brazil, I love you and I want to visit your country so bad. <laughs> I don't know, I just love Brazilian culture. I love the music and it looks gorgeous there. Is a belly piercing worth it? <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can show it. Proof, right there. <laughs> Fun fact, I got it without my parents knowing. Every time I would ask my mom to get my belly pierced, she would be like, Absolutely not. No. I asked her so many times and then finally I was like, okay, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. My friend and I went, I lied about my age. All my teenagers watching this right now, don't do that. Do not lie about your age. <laughs> so yeah, I got my belly pierced at 15 and I hid it from my parents for a whole year. Um, but then eventually we went on a family vacation and we were all going inside the pool. There was no way I could hide it. So boom, that's when I showed her. I was like, surprise. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God. She's like, you are going to regret this decision for the rest of your life. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm 24 now and I still love my belly ring. So mom, you're wrong about that one. <laughs> Catch me being like an 80 year old grandma with a belly ring. <laughs> I wanna become a YouTuber starting from zero. What's your advice? Any of you watching this right now, if you wanna start a YouTube channel, start that YouTube channel. That was single-handedly the best decision I've ever made in my life thus far. <laughs> like it completely changed my life. My only regret is not starting earlier. And the amazing community you get is just unmatched. Every single day, you guys give me a reason to feel excited and feel purpose and just feel motivated. Post your first video. Do not worry about the views. Don't worry about subscriber count. Don't worry about any of that. Just post. And second thing, respond to all of your comments, okay? All right, as a content creator, I'm gonna throw a little bit of tea, a little bit of shade. It is honestly my pet peeve when I see content creators who never respond to their comments. I'm like, like you're telling me your subscribers took time out of their day to click on your video, watch through the video and comment on your video and you're not even gonna give them the time of day? Like, make it make sense. The reason why I feel so close to you guys and you guys know me so well and we just like hype each other up is because I read and respond to majority of my comments. And especially when you're starting out as a new YouTuber, every single subscriber and view counts. So you wanna make sure you're engaging with your subscribers who take time out of their precious day to watch you. Another tip is try to get better at something with every video. So whether that's camera angles, editing skills, whatever, just make sure every video you post is better than the last. And yeah, best of luck on your YouTube journey. Trust me, if I can do it, I promise you can do it. 
it too. As long as you put your mind to it and you stay consistent, you got this. Are you the oldest in your siblings? No, actually. <laughs> I'm actually the youngest. I feel like I give very much youngest sibling vibes. I have an older brother and an older sister. And yeah, I love being the youngest, honestly, because whenever I need help, I just go to them. And they're basically <laughs> obligated to help me. <laughs> the last question, what keeps you going? You, <laughs> you guys, you guys keep me going, genuinely. Now that I have this amazing community of people who just, we're all just trying to be our best selves, I feel so much purpose and motivation. I feel so blessed to have you guys in my life. I used to be so unmotivated. I used to struggle so much with feeling lonely and just feeling so insecure, but having you guys in my corner has gave me so much confidence and helped me feel not alone in just trying to better myself. Also, sorry, God also keeps me going. My faith in God and everything he's blessed me with, including you guys, that is what keeps me going. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna finish my mocktail and go to bed. I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Jin Papa, Kesole, you're back on